You'd think all Boeings fly the same. Well, they don't. I've spent a good amount of time flying both the Boeing 737 and the Boeing 787, and even though they're both Boeings, they feel like aircraft from two very different generations. First, size and mission. The 737 is built for short to medium haul flying, quick turnarounds, multiple sectors a day, and high efficiency. However, the 787 is a long-haul aircraft, it's bigger, carries more passengers and flies much further and spends hours cruising at altitude. Then there's the fuel efficiency. Both are efficient in their own role, but the 787 stands out on long routes. Its composite structure, advanced aerodynamics and modern engines mean lower fuel burn per passenger over longer distances. Flight controls are another big difference. The 737 uses conventional hydraulic controls, so it feels more direct and hands-on. The 787 is fly-by-wire, smoother, more refined and a bit more synthetic, especially in cruising turbulence. The flight deck reflects that difference too. The 787 cockpit is modern and intuitive with large displays and smart system logic that makes checklists and fault diagnosis very streamlined. The 737 is more old school, relying on traditional systems and a more manual QRH-based approach. One difference passengers often feel is the cabin altitude. The 737 typically runs around 8,000 feet, while the 787 operates closer to 6,000 feet. That means less fatigue and better comfort on long flights. So overall, the 737 feels like a classic pilot's aircraft, responsive and familiar. The 787 feels like the future, quieter, smarter and built for long-haul flying. Both are excellent, they're just designed for different missions.